And heading back to school, STEM. In case you didn't already know, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. We're seeing more and more local school districts emphasizing STEM. And Northside ISD starts up their new school year on Monday, and with it, a new STEM lab program aimed at elementary school students. I spoke with administrators and teachers. They tell me this new curriculum at Hoffman Elementary could be a game changer. Gone are the days where students are expected to sit in one desk. At Hoffman Elementary School, students are no longer sticking to the typical script. A new STEM lab here has staff reworking their teaching process with new high hopes. These students will have learned that it is acceptable to take risks, that it's encouraged to take risks, that they can collaborate and engage in very creative activities that go beyond what is expected on what we see in state assessments, on the STAR test. It's a much more hands-on approach approach, but don't worry parents, it's still learning. I'll be doing a lot of technology and engineering that applies the science and the math concepts. Amanda Quick is the new STEM lab teacher, and she's no stranger to these methods. She taught the subject in Milwaukee, and she saw results. I saw kids being really engaged. I was at a school where it was um, kind of a rough population and a lot of challenges, and the kids were really engaged when they came into STEM, and they really worked well focusing on a problem rather than focusing on how their peers were acting. And one of the high-tech educational tools that these students are going to be using are the Dash Robot. Robots. Students as young as kindergarten are going to be using iPads like these to learn how to code and move these robots through obstacle courses. They'll have 3D printers so they can build pieces that they need for to solve whatever project they have or problem that they have. So why the recent change? The changing and evolving job markets. The leaders in Northside recognized that there were pockets of innovation happening and they wanted to come up with something that was going to help all students have access to STEM. Also important to mention that this STEM emphasis is not limited to any select group of students. It's for everyone at Hoffman. Also important to mention, this is just the start of our back-to-school coverage for Northside. We're going to be live for their first day on Monday morning.